scan day. Just got to the job site, waiting on our boy Jordan to get here. And then we'll uh, light this candle. First scan is done. We're heading upstairs to go scan the rest of this thing. We try to get all the way up. And then that way we got everything so we can detail to it. We're gonna try to go snag Brian because Brian scanned on nuclear sites. I'm gonna get his take on the Trimble X7 and how it compares to utilizing a Faro unit which is what he's used to using. How is this comparing to the Pharaoh? No, there is no comparison. There's no comparison? No. Really? This is a lot easier. Okay. Set up, scan. It's our Set up, register. scan, it, go. Yeah, if you do have to register jobs together, it's, it's not all of your scans, it's job to job and you're done. Okay. What's coming out of this closet over to this wall? Okay, so it took us like a, maybe oh, 20 seconds to set it up. And then you turn it on, you wait for it to boot up, well, see, like, and now it's scanning, right? Yeah, we actually we did a little presentation. Mm -hmm. I wish I could come up with like a downside. <laughs> I haven't There's, found one yet. It's like so with oh, the Pharaoh. Yeah, it's very the process was you one of their move it wherever you're going, set your tripod yeah, up, put your here. machine on it. So if it was already on, make sure you're in the right job. You have to go to the indicators to make sure it's level. Yeah. And you come back out, go to your start menu, start it, wait however long yeah, it's what you got your scan set up for. Then you come back and you look at a little small window on the side of the machine for the scan you've taken. And you can go back and review them, but you have to go back and find them, you know, where they're at and look through them. Yeah. With this, it's set it up. As long as it's still connected to the tablet, you just hit the start button and it finds, it starts going. And it stitches it together and you look at your scans as you go. So, a few minutes ago we lost, We well, we weren't able to establish a point, right? Was that? So we changed elevations. Okay. So it, it didn't it didn't auto register from floor to floor for the same area. So we just kind of tripped it up by going up a level. It's basically without using yeah. control. Yeah. Okay. When you say control, do you control mean traffic? targets? Targets. Okay. Checkerboards, steers. Got it. Okay. Um, so if we had if we had set up targets, then that would have basically fixed the issue. Yes, for the most, okay. Because yeah. it couldn't find natural targets between yeah. sets of scans, okay. so we, we had to tell it this point, this point's the same, this yeah. point, this point's the same, and it put it all together. And we have to do it in the field instead of wait till we get to the office, because that's in Faro using the scene. That's how you put each individual scan together. You yeah. have to find your targets and tell it this target and this target the same, or you have to use natural targets, which would be faces. And if you miss a scan, you've just got to pick your unit up and go back out to the field. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, so now we're scanning this and I'm fixing to find out if we got enough data to do that. And if we okay. don't, we'll just move it and get that data. 10 foot. 
10.79 to 10.8. So yeah, you should be, so you got like right in our way. That's awesome. Good information. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, keep in mind, that was all done while Brian and I were talking about it in like yeah. three minutes. And we got a really robust scan, which we can then import into our 3D modeling software. Model to it, make sure everything's right. Um, I, I like, I like so far. And we're off to the next site. Everything seems to be, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's all cracked, it is what it was cracked up to be, which was just easy, easy to use. The stitching together thing is really cool. Because um, they're able to look at the, at the point cloud right, right on the tablet, which is really sweet. It's really cool to see it spin around like that. <laughs> it kind of freaks me out. Scan number one complete. Now off to scan number two tomorrow. First we're gonna get some food, but Eddie, just preliminary review, what you what you thinking, man? Um, preliminary review, the point of entry meaning I mean just getting into scanning with one of these units, um, because it registers on the fly is pretty low. Like it's pretty easy. Um, so much so that when we're going to scan job two, which probably has a little more at stake because we're not going to have the help of the Trimble guys there. Yeah. Um, I feel pretty confident. Hopefully that doesn't bite us, but um, yeah, uh, not too and bad. I was stepping back and watching the whole thing kind of go and, and you guys were up and running pretty quick. And it honestly, I figured it would be like an hour worth of mucking around trying to figure everything out and that is not the way it went it it was seriously the, i mean chris he said 15 minutes and i think he was pretty spot on for that to get us up and running and scanning um spend a little bit of time with it you know we'll see we'll see how we fly solo tomorrow though that'll be the that'll be the big question first we're gonna get some food though we're hungry